Imagine a world where the sky is your canvas, where you can paint the universe in vivid detail and reach out to touch the stars. Welcome to the realm of telescopes, the magic wands of stargazers. In this cosmic journey, we will uncover the enchanting science of these optical marvels that have been our windows to the cosmos for centuries. But why do we even need telescopes? To answer that, let's first understand the limitations of our naked eyes. Imagine standing in a vast landscape with a distant mountain in your line of sight. As you gaze toward the horizon, you notice that the mountain appears smaller, almost blending into the background. This phenomenon occurs because of the way our eyes perceive distant objects. The farther away an object is, the smaller it appears, and the less light it emits. Eventually, it reaches a point where it becomes challenging for our eyes to discern any details. So, what's the solution? We need to gather as much light as possible. The first step in this magical process is the use of lenses, curved pieces of glass that refract or bend light. Picture a beam of sunlight passing through a magnifying glass, converging into a tiny, intense point. This focusing of light is a fundamental concept behind the workings of telescopes. Now, imagine the revolutionary moment when the first telescope was conceived in 1608. A Dutch spectacle maker named Hans Lippershe designed a device that used lenses, curved pieces of glass, to gather and bend light. Picture the very first telescope that had only two lenses aligned capable of magnifying objects up to three times. As light rays enter the objective lens, they refract and converge. The objective lens has a bulging, convex shape, which bends the light rays toward each other. This bending of light converges the rays, causing them to meet at a specific focal point inside the telescope. However, there's a curious twist in this process. The image formed at this stage appears upside down. It may seem peculiar, but in the context of space, where there's no inherent up or down, this inversion doesn't pose any problems. It's all part of the magic of telescopes. But there's a catch. Now, imagine a gigantic lens, much larger and thicker than a standard magnifying glass. While such a lens has the potential to gather even more light, it comes with its own set of challenges. The sheer size and weight of the lens can make it unwieldy and difficult to work with. Ensuring that the surface of the lens is perfectly smooth becomes a daunting task. Any imperfections or irregularities on the lens can distort the image, much like looking at your reflection in a window with smudges or scratches. For stargazers seeking clarity and precision, these imperfections are a significant roadblock this is where mirrors come into play, and it's a game changer. Mirrors can be much thinner, and you don't need them to be thicker as they get larger. They reflect light, rather than refract it. Unlike lenses, mirrors can be both large and thin. Size doesn't require thickness, and this feature opens up new possibilities in telescope design. While lenses rely on the refraction or bending of light, mirrors take a different approach they reflect light. Picture a mirror being coated with a silvered reflective surface. As light strikes the mirror, it bounces off. A reflective telescope uses a concave mirror to receive light, and it reflects parallel light rays, causing them to converge at the focal point before diverging back out. This mirror is curved inward, resembling a shallow, polished bowl. When parallel light rays from distant objects strike the concave mirror, they converge toward a common focal point within the telescope. These converging rays carry the image of the celestial object, and to make it accessible to our eyes, we introduce an eyepiece lens. This lens takes the diverging light rays and straightens them out, thus creating a magnified image on our retina. Here's where mirrors shine, quite literally. Unlike lenses, mirrors can be impressively large without becoming unwieldy. The critical advantage is that they don't need to be thick and heavy to gather ample light. This characteristic makes them far more manageable in telescope construction.
Picture a massive lens, then picture a large mirror. The difference in weight and complexity is striking. A massive lens, while capable of gathering light, can be burdensome and challenging to support in a telescope structure. But mirrors, with their reflective surfaces, have an inherent lightness that makes them a practical choice. Additionally, mirrors don't suffer from the same challenges of lost light through reflections that plague large lenses. When you clean a mirror, it's a straightforward process, wiping away impurities to maintain its reflective efficiency. But there's a challenge right here on Earth. The atmosphere, composed of various gases, can distort the light coming from celestial objects, making stars appear to twinkle when observed with the naked eye. This phenomenon, known as atmospheric distortion, can hinder astronomers in their quest for clarity. To escape the effects of atmospheric distortion, astronomers turn to high-altitude observatories, perched on mountain peaks where the air is thinner and more stable. These elevated locations provide a clearer view of the cosmos, free from the shimmering effects of Earth's atmosphere. Light pollution from cities can also obscure celestial objects, making remote observatories in pristine, dark sky locations all the more critical. And what if we remove the atmosphere altogether? Well, that's where space telescopes come into play. Launched in 1990, the Hubble Space Telescope orbits our planet beyond the atmosphere's grasp, capturing images with unparalleled precision. Imagine you are standing in New York City, and you want to spot a firefly flickering in the night sky over Tokyo. It sounds impossible. But that's precisely the level of accuracy and detail that the Hubble Space Telescope achieves in its cosmic observations. But we've only scratched the surface. Telescopes come in various forms, each suited to specific tasks. Optical telescopes, the ones we have discussed so far, focus on visible light. However, there's an entire universe of light beyond what our eyes can see. One of these telescopes is the Spitzer Space Telescope, equipped with powerful infrared cameras that reveal heat sources in space. This technology allows astronomers to peer into regions where visible light is obscured, unveiling a hidden cosmos. Imagine observing the universe not with your eyes but with heat-sensitive instruments, revealing the warmth of celestial objects. The Kepler Space Telescope takes us on another journey. But this time, it's a planet hunting expedition. Kepler keeps a vigilant watch on over 100,000 stars simultaneously, using sensitive visible light photometers to detect the subtle changes in starlight. Its mission is to discover exoplanets. Telescopes have come a long way in the last 400 years, from modest three-fold magnification to revealing the most distant galaxies and nebulae in breathtaking detail. As we look forward to the next 400 years of stargazing, the cosmos beckons us to explore its mysteries. The future holds even more promise. We can only imagine what's next. Perhaps the unimaginably vast telescope or the fantastically accurate reflector telescope, which we will leave you to decipher. Stay curious, space explorers. The universe has countless secrets waiting to be uncovered. Until next time, this is Mars 666, your guide to the cosmos, signing off.